What up, folks? I'm UltraZilla, and this is the Ultra Z News Weekend Update. Got a nice, light news for you guys this week. So let's just get into it, shall we? So uh, what we have first is a little bit of a note here. Something I wanted to uh, mention for those of you that were able to get a Jet Jaguar. Awesome. Um, I've secured mine. So um, that's cool. So you'll be, you will see it on this channel for sure. Um, however, it is sold out as the sign says right here. Um, that said, there are more coming. Now we knew that there was going to be variants of this uh, from day one. We've seen, um, you know, so I believe what was it, designer con maybe where they had a couple of, uh, of them in the case. We're definitely getting a red one. We're definitely getting a white one. Um, and we're getting, you know, the medical one, which sometimes is white as well, uh, as well as red. So, uh, or is it just white? I think it might just be white. But anywho, there is some sort of white one here or could be translucent plastic. I don't know. There is definitely something that looks that's going to be skewed red. However... The next one does have the the medical, uh, you know, cross symbol there. So there's definitely going to be something there. And then I'm going to assume this means a glow in the dark one with the, the glow on it. So we'll see. So uh, do stay tuned. There's going to be more Jet Jaguars if you missed out on this first one, which is like the basic normal one. Um, it was up for a little bit. So, you know... I think everyone that really, really wanted it was able to get it. Um, you know, if not, stay tuned. More to come. I would like a medical one, um, but I think that might be the only other one that I would want. But we shall see how it goes. More news from Mondo. A new version of a new colorway is coming of Man-Thing. Uh, and this one's going to be more you know, psychedelic looking. So these are the teasers right now. Um, we shall see how uh, it goes. It looks like it's going to be cool. Um, yeah, uh, it, I'm into the sculpt. It's James Groman. So it's, it's going to be awesome looking. You saw the first initial one. I am going to be reviewing that first initial one, by the way. Um, not sure about the rest, but for sure that first one I'll be reviewing. Um, but I'm looking forward to checking these out and, uh, you know, bringing them to you here, at least via the news. Something that looks really, really cool. And, uh, did I not get the front of this guy? Uh, picks are out of order. Uh, speaking of more designery stuff, Kid Robot showed off their, uh, Dunny, uh, which is, was done up with, uh, the artist Quicks who's known for doing those Gundam style bunny guys. Uh, now they're all collaborating on a Voltron style, which looks awesome. Now this is very expensive. It's a big, big figure, but it's very expensive. Um, so I'm out, but it is very, very, very cool. No doubt about it. I mean, this kind of sets the tone uh, for a lot of this Ultra Z news. There is a lot of super deformed figures on the horizon including the Eggman Mini um, Gamma series, which we're going to have Gamma 1995, uh, Gamma 96, and 99, as well as the 2014 Avant Gamma. Is that the Gamma from... I, it, I thought it might have been um, Toto, but that wasn't in 2014. That was a like 2005. Uh, it kind of looks like Toto, but it's the 2014 could only be that anniversary little short film camera. But I thought that was 2015. I could be wrong about that. Might be misremembering. Um, there's also a 95 Gauss, a 68 Virus, and a 69 Gearon. So a cool little set of figures here. You see them more. Uh, you can pre-order these on BBTS right now as a set, which is very cool. They look awesome. 
another set that I saw like back to back uh, with that Gamera set. But this is not from uh, Eggman, which is the my easy hobby. He also does those high end uh, Omega Beast statues. Um, just to put out there, this is from Beast Kingdom, and this is an Ultraman series designed by the Japanese uh, like comic and design team Guri Huru Guri, Guri Huru Huru. <laughs> Sorry. Um, They've done a lot of Marvel comics, uh, and they've designed the set of figures, including Gamora and King Joe, Sevinger, Ultraman Tiga, Ultraman Zero, Alien Bolton, and there you go. And that's the size, around 9 centimeters. Very cute looking, for sure. I do like how these look. Very different, but very stylized. Very, very cute. Now, not to be outdone, Tamashi Nations has got a Tamashi Nations box. Ultraman are idolized. Come on, our Ultraman. Very, very interesting. You got Ultraman there. <laughs> and uh, you got Ultraman uh, Leo. Where did I go here? I just lost my place. Antigua. Amebius? I could be wrong there. I had my list here going alongside it. Anywho, you got Zero and uh, Taiga. Ultraman Z. Trigger, and there you go. I, th I think I got them right. <laughs> Could be wrong about a couple. Anywho, moving on. But these are interesting. Well, not moving on, because these are interesting. They're like little Ultraman, but they're like flying at you. It's kind of a cool idea. I won't be getting them, but kind of a cool idea. The next uh, Nendoroid is Alien, which looks really, really cute. Comes with a chest burster and a face hugger. <laughs> it, this guy does not come with them, but I love love this. I can't stop laughing at this. Um, it's too funny. Cute set. It's gonna run you about seventy five bucks, so it's uh, it's a little pricey in my opinion. But you know, maybe yes, take a trigger just to go over. The ones that come in here in that box set. And that's all the information I have. <laughs> Anywho, speaking of aliens and predators, uh, new Predator 2 Shaman Predator is coming. So Nika tease that. Marvel Legends Mr. Knight from the Moon Knight series, if you haven't seen it, I'm sorry for spoiling this, uh, is coming as well. Moon Knight series, two episodes so far, are awesome. SHF is going to do The Batman. This is on sale right now as well. Looks pretty nice. I'm kind of like not even interested. I didn't even post this on my Facebook page, to be honest. Just not really interested in The Batman for whatever reason. It is what it is. And we're going to end it with something fun. Artist David Forrest posted up on his Facebook and Instagram that there was going to be a DST Goliath action figure, uh, but it got canceled when NECA announced theirs. Um, these are some of the designs that were going into the figure. It's definitely a more um, cartoon accurate take on it, which would have been super appreciated. I would have loved to have seen that, but uh, alas... It's not coming to be. However, I did. He did say that there might still be um, uh, a gallery statue of Goliath, hopefully in this style, which is really nice. So be on the lookout for that. I, I'll definitely talk about it more here on the news uh, when and if it happens, because I would love to see that, especially if it's done like this. 
be really awesome. And there you go, guys. That's it. That's the news. I hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time, peace out, people. <laughs>